the Libyan war has reignited. This time, forces loyal to the UN-backed government of National Accord in Tripoli are fighting against militia leader Khalifa Haftar and his Libyan National Army on the doorstep of the city. The Libyan front line is just 30 kilometres from here, on the southern outskirts of Tripoli. The UN says that front line's only about 100 kilometres long, with about a 1,000 fighters on either side. And neither side seems to be gaining ground. In military terms, the fight for Tripoli looks like it's at a stalemate. The UN Libya chief told TRT World that won't change while the international community is divided. I think uh, the Libyans are in need of a unified uh, international position and the Security Council has been sterile, unable to produce it because of the divisions in its own ranks. He also says both sides in the conflict are being armed by the international community. Well, you can see the banners here in Martyr Square in protest against Haftar and any foreign intervention. Now, Haftar says that he's fighting against hardline militias. That's the claim that's resonating with some European and Arab countries. But what's been harder to gauge here in Tripoli is whether Haftar has any appeal amongst the civilians living here in this city. On the streets, people are out and about, despite the clashes nearby. But among those we spoke to, there's concern. Our two kids, they're complaining. They, they, ha they say they have no future. There's no future for Libya, to be honest. The dream of the revolution, that Libya can begin to move towards democracy, people here in Tripoli have told us, right now, seems very far away. Sarah Firth, TRT World, Tripoli.